let's stay with the 49ers looking at their backfield. And we saw Raheem Mostert make his preseason debut against the Raiders. Now the Raiders were playing their backup, so just keep that in mind. But Trey Sermon also came in and played with the first team, and both guys were pretty solid in their final preseason performance. So is there a running back in this backfield that you guys prefer one over the other? And just to give you an idea, the average draft position on CBS Sports, Mostert is going in the sixth round. Sermon is going in the seventh round, but there's 20 spots in between both these guys. One's going at the start of the round, one's going at the end of the round. So it's really interesting in terms of how the draft average is showing these two 49ers. Sermon looked good. Mostert looked outstanding in that preseason game. But 20 spots better, good. though? Outstanding? I, I think if you want to invest in this 49ers backfield, you're going to have to take a chance and go a little bit with Mostert. I know it's at a point that we're not really loving as an early sixth-round pick, but, man, he looked awesome there was a play where the offensive line went in a completely different direction where Moser was going so Mostert had a bunch of Raiders defenders in front of him he beat him to the edge he used a stiff arm to get extra yards and he's going to be a guy that the 49ers are going to lean on first and foremost Sermon looked good he's certainly a little bit more physical than Moser. I think he can handle that short yardage work but Mostert's the one as long as he's healthy he should be pretty much a must start as a number two running back in fantasy yeah, and the problem is as long as he's healthy, and it's kind of the problem with both Raheem Mostert and Trey Sermon. These guys do not have a very extensive history of playing a lot of football and getting a lot of touches and not getting hurt. And so I think it's kind of what the 49ers do. They've got four or five running backs every year, and any of those guys that end up as part of the two-man rotation are at least flexes. I do prefer Mostert over Sermon because I think he's more likely to have the big plays, and he's more likely to be involved in the passing game at least early. But if Wayne Goldman ends up being one of these two guys, we're going to be picking him up off the waiver wire and starting him as a flex. If you're a 49ers running back in this offense, and there will be two of them every week, those two guys are both uh, definitely worth flexes. Goldman was playing late into the second half, so I don't yeah. know like where he factors into this yeah. when Jeff Wilson they comes put, back, where he factors into this. You know, yeah. Michael Hasty had a strong performance as well. So uh, the third guy could certainly be interesting once Wilson is healthy, to your point, Heath, about, Heath, about maybe – Gallman factoring in, but I think these two guys are very intriguing. For me, I'm just going to kind of wait it out. You know, yeah. I do think Mostert should be the guy you want to have first, but if you tell me I could get Trey Sermon around later, 20 picks later, I'd rather have that because I do think at some point we could see it flip. We could see an injury for Mostert. Uh, Sermon, I think, is still going to play with Mostert, so you know, all it takes is one or two big plays, one or two big runs, and maybe he's the guy that we see taking over for this backfield once upon a time like Mostert did when Tevin Coleman couldn't hold on to the job during that Super Bowl run. Want more of the Fantasy Football Today podcast and nonstop year-round fantasy advice? It's simple. Hit the subscribe button and hang with us all throughout the year.